This video will be a note for note breakdown of the main guitar solo that enters roughly 2 minutes and 16 seconds into the song. The outro solo will also be detailed along with the supporting rhythm guitar and bass parts. A tab sheet of each part will briefly be displayed after its respective analysis. A final demo of all parts combined will also close out the video. The tuning used in this video and on the record is standard E in 440 wavelength calibration. We will start out with the solo on guitar 2. The solo is actually going to be 16 measures long. We'll begin by placing the pinky on the low E string at the 7th fret. On 1, We'll pick this note down and let it ring out as a dotted quarter note for 3 eighths of the first measure. On the end beat after 2, we'll go with the first finger to the A string at the 4th fret and pick this note upwards. This will ring out through 3 is another dotted quarter note. And on 4, we're going to take the middle finger and go to that same string to 5th fret and pick this down. This rings out as a quarter note, which will be tied to the first eighth note of the second measure. So with the four count lead in, this is what we have for the first measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And now we've reached the second measure. The middle finger should still be on the A string to fifth fret, and this note should still be ringing out from the last measure. It's going to ring out through one here as an eighth note. On the end beat after one, we're going to go with that first finger to the same string at the fourth fret and pick this up. That's another eighth note, which is tied to a quarter note on two. In short, it's going to ring out for three eighths of the measure. On the three beat, we're going to take that middle finger and go back to the same string to fifth fret and pick this down, it rings out as a quarter note. And on four, we'll finish up the measure by going with the first finger back to the same string to fourth fret and picking this down. And this last note is actually going to be tied to the first note of the next measure. So with the four count lead in, this is what the first two measures combined in sequence are going to sound like. One, two, three, Four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four. And now we have reached the third measure. The first finger should still be on the A string at the fourth fret, and this note should still be ringing out from the end of the previous measure. On one, what we're going to do is slide up a step and a half in pitch on that same string to the seventh fret. Okay, we're not picking this. The note is going to be produced by the left hand as we slide. This will ring out as a dotted quarter note through the two beat. On the end beat after two, we're going to go with the middle finger back to the same string at the fifth fret and pick it up. This is going to ring out through the three beat as a dotted quarter note. On four, we're going to take that first finger and go back to the same string to fourth fret and pick this down. This is a quarter note which will be tied to an eighth note to start the next measure. So what I'm going to do now is give you a three count lead in and on the four beat I'm going to add the last note of the previous measure so we can slide into the third measure. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. And now we've reached the fourth measure. The first finger should still be on the A string at the fourth fret and this note should still be ringing out from the end of the previous measure. It will ring out through one here as an eighth note. On the end beat after one, we'll take the middle finger and go to that same string at the fifth fret and pick this up. It's going to ring out as an eighth note, which is tied to a quarter note on two. In short, it rings out for three eighths of the measure. On three, we're going to go back to the first finger on that same string at the fourth fret. Pick that down, this rings out as a quarter note. And on four, the final beat of the measure, a quarter note, we're going to go with the middle finger to the low E string at the fifth fret and pick this down. What I'm going to do now is give you a three count lead in just like the previous segment. And on the four beat, I'll add the last note of the previous measure, and then we'll go into the fourth measure. One, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. 
Let's run through the first four measures combined in sequence. I won't count loud as I play, but I'll give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And now we have reached the fifth measure. We're going to place the pinky on the low E string at the seventh fret and pick this note downwards. It's going to ring out as a quarter note. On two, we'll pick that same note again downwards. This time it rings out as an eighth note. On the and beat after two, we're going to go up the middle finger to that same string at the fifth fret and pick this up. This is an eighth note tied to another eighth note on the three beat. In short, it rings out for a quarter of the measure. On the and beat after three, we'll pick the same note again upwards. This time it rings out as an eighth note. And to finish up the measure, we're gonna go up to pinky, back to the same string at the seventh fret, and pick that down. This time it's a quarter note. And this will be tied to an eighth note to start the next measure. So with the four count lead in, this is what the fifth measure is going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. And now we've reached the sixth measure. The pinky should still be on the low E string at the seventh fret, and this note should still be ringing out from the previous measure. It's going to ring through one as an eighth note. On the end beat after one, we're gonna go with the middle finger to that same string at the 5th fret and pick this up. This is an 8th note tied to another 8th note on 2, which rings out for a quarter of the measure. On the end beat after 2, we're going to pick the same note upwards one more time, and it's going to ring out as an 8th note. On the 3 beat, we're going to go with the pinky back to the 7th fret on that same string and pick it down. On 4, we're going to do the same thing. Pick that note down again, let it ring out as another quarter note. So with a three count lead in, I'm going to add in the last beat of the previous measure, and then lead right into this sixth measure. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four. Let's run through the fifth and sixth measures, combined in sequence just one time. I'm not going to count aloud as I play, I'll just give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. And now we've reached the seventh measure. What we're going to do here is play straight eighth notes with alternate picking, and we're going to use palm muting. We're gonna rest the side of the hand right on the saddle pieces where they meet the string, and we're gonna work off of the A string. Okay, the Middle finger is going to start out on the 5th fret of the A string. We're going to pick this down on the down beats, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on the up beats in between, we're going to go with the pinky to that same string at the 7th fret. So what I'm going to do is just give you a 4 count lead in and slowly play this measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and And now we have reached the eighth measure. What we're going to do here is a continuation of what we did on the previous measure. We're just going to use different notes. On the down beats, we're gonna place the first finger on the A string at the fourth fret and pick down. On the up beats in between, we're gonna go with the middle finger to that same string at the fifth fret when we're picking up. And the only thing we're going to do different is on the last eighth note of the measure, Instead of going back to the middle finger on that same string, we're just going to pick the open string. So with the four count lead in, I'm just going to play the eighth measure. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, now with the four count lead in, let's combine the seventh and eighth measures in sequence. And I won't count this aloud as I play. One, two, three, Four. Let's run through the fifth through eighth measures just one time in sequence. I'm not going to count loud as I play. I'll just give you the four count lead in. 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> The last eight measures of the solo are going to be an exact repeat of the first eight. Let's just skip ahead and do all 16 measures in sequence. I won't count loud as I play, I'll just give you the four count lead in. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This is the first eight measures of the main guitar solo. There should be a repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure and at the end of the eighth measure. Although the repeat signs aren't there, we're still going to play through these eight measures twice in succession to get our 16 measures. The supporting instrumentals will be exactly the same during the outro solo, but the lead part is going to be slightly different than the main solo. The only difference will be the 11th and 12th measures. Let's skip ahead to detail the 11th measure. The first finger should still be on the A string at the 4th fret from the ending of the 10th measure and this note should still be ringing out. Just like the beginning of the 3rd measure, what we're going to do is slide up the next note, but this time we're going to go to the 10th fret instead of the 7th. Okay, once we get there, this note is going to ring out as a dotted quarter note through the 2 beat. On the and beat after 2, we're going to go with the pinky to that same string at the 9th fret and pick this up. This rings out through 3 as a dotted quarter note. And on 4, to finish up the measure, we're going to place that middle finger on the same string at the 7th fret and pick it down. This is a quarter note that will be tied to the next measure on a 8th note to start it out. So what I'm going to do now is give you a 3 count lead in and I'll include the last note of the previous measure before we do the 11th measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4. And now we have reached the 12th measure. The middle finger should still be on the A string at the 7th fret. This note should still be ringing out from the previous measure. We're going to let it ring through 1 and start this measure as an 8th note. On the end beat after 1, we're going to place the pinky on the same string to 9th fret and pick this up. That's an 8th note tied to a quarter note on 2, which is going to ring out for 3 eighths of the measure. On 3, we're going to shift down two steps in pitch to that same string with the middle finger on the fifth fret. We'll pick this down, it rings out as an eighth note. On the end beat after three, we're going to pull off to the first finger on that same string and let that ring out as an eighth note. And to finish up the measure, we're going to pull off to the open A string and let that ring out as a quarter note on four. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you a three count lead in and combine the 11th and 12th measures in sequence. Remember, I'm going to add the last note of the previous measure on 4 as part of the lead-in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, and 4. Let's run through the entire outro solo just one time. I won't count aloud as I play, I'm just going to give you the 4 count lead-in. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This is measures 9 through 16 of the outro solo. Measures 1 through 8 are going to be exactly the same as the tab sheet shown for the main solo. So play through that tab sheet one time and follow it with this tab sheet to complete the solo. 
guitar one is going to follow an eight measure long pattern that gets played twice for 16 measures. We're going to start out playing a B5 power chord and that's where the first finger is the root note on the A string at the second fret. We're going to pick this down on one and let it ring out as a whole note for the entire first measure. This is also going to be tied to another whole note on the second measure. In short, this is going to ring out for two full measures. On the third measure, we're going to play a G5 power chord, and that's where the first finger is the root note on the low E string at the third fret. We'll pick this down on one and let that ring out as a whole note for the entire third measure. On the fourth measure, we're going to play an open A5 power chord, and that's where the first finger is barring the D and G strings at the second fret. We'll pick this down on the downbeats as quarter notes. One, two, three, and four, just like that. What I'm going to do is I'll just give you a four count lead in and play the first four measures in sequence. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The fifth and sixth measures are going to be exact repeats of the first two measures, so we're going to skip ahead to the seventh measure. Notice that the B5 power chord we're playing, the first finger is already laying across the A string and the D string at the second fret. All we're going to do is lift the third and fourth fingers and play the open E5 power chord with one down stroke and this is going to ring out as a whole note for the entire seventh measure. Now we're at the eighth measure. We're going to play an F sharp five power chord, and that's where the first finger is the root note on the low E string at the second fret. Just like the fourth measure, we're going to play four quarter notes here on the downbeats, all with down strokes. So what I'm going to do is give you a four count lead in and run through measures five through eight just one time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's run through all 16 measures on guitar one just one time. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. This is all 16 measures of the rhythm played during the guitar solo. We're just going to play through the 8 measures until we reach the repeat sign at the end of the 8th measure. That sends us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the 1st measure. And we play the same 8 measures in sequence a second time to get 16 measures. During the guitar solos, the bass is going to play the same 16 measure sequence that was used in the third verse. The only thing that we're going to do differently is on the 4th, 8th, 12th, and 16th measures, we're going to use the same respective notes, but this time we're going to play four quarter notes instead. These will be picked on the downbeats, one, two, three, and four, with a downward picking motion. So what I'm going to do now so I'll give you a four count lead in and run through all 16 measures during the solos. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. This is all 16 measures on the bass guitar during the solos. We're just going to play through all 8 measures until we reach the yellow highlight at the end of the 8th measure. That's a repeat sign which sends us back to the repeat sign at the beginning of the first measure. We'll play all 8 measures again in sequence. 